Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to show you some of my favorite products that I have in my collection and create a look using these products, explain to you why I love them and how I use them on a daily basis. I have tried to include a mix of drugstore and high-end so that you have some options of products that you can choose that are more affordable or more on the expensive side of makeup. And I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications. And without any more chit chat, let's just get into it. Today, I wanted to start with the eyes first before we do the face. So I'm gonna go in and prime my eyes before we go in with eyeshadow. And to prime, I'm gonna use one of my favorite concealers. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer in the shade 08 Light. I have been loving this concealer because it is full coverage. It blends out super easily and it just looks really nice and kind of brightens everything up for me. So I'm just gonna blend this out. I like to use concealer to prime my eyes because I like to cover up any veins or discoloration and I feel concealer does that the best for me. Before we go into the eyeshadow, I am going to set the eyelids so that that concealer doesn't crease. So to do that, I'm going to use this powder from number seven. This is the Lifton Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder. And I use this to also set the concealer on my under eyes as well. And it is my favorite at the moment. So you might see it in most of my videos. But I like this one because it has a little bit of a tint to it, so it's not a clear translucent powder. Next for the eyeshadows, I'm gonna use one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. This one is a little bit newer one to my collection, but it has quickly climbed to the top of my favorites. And I'm sure all of you out there probably know why. And it is the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. Here is what it looks like on the inside. And I just love the tones of this palette. I love the neutrals. And even though it is a very neutral palette, the color story in it is really beautiful and you can still create lots of different looks using this palette. And so that's what I like about it because it's good for every day, yet it's still very versatile. So to start this look, I'm going to take this shade here, which is suntan. It's a little bit deeper of a brown that's in the palette. And I'm gonna take it on this fluffy brush here. And I want just a really light, bit of eyeshadow on this brush and I'm going to start here in the outer corner and try to really blend and diffuse this out into kind of a, a V shape on the outer corner of the eye. I started with a really light bit of shadow because I want to be able to build this up as we go. I didn't want to go in too heavy handed to begin. So as we go, I will pick up more shadow on this and try to build it up a little bit. Next, I'm gonna go into a little bit deeper shade in the palette, which is this one here, Magma. And I'm gonna try to build it up a little bit more on the outer corner and try to start creating more of a wing type look with this. So I'm taking this on a different clean, fluffy blending brush. Again, just picking up the tiniest little bit of that shadow, tapping off the excess, and I'm just gonna start lightly and try to build this up again. Now I'm gonna go into the black shade in the palette here, which is called Deep Dive. And I'm gonna take some of that on this angled brush here and I'm gonna try to even further create a wing there on the outer part of the eye. So I'm barely gonna tap it in because I don't want too much. Tap the excess off and we're just gonna start creating that wing with this black eyeshadow.
To blend this a little bit better, I'm gonna take some of that black shade on this kind of flatter, fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna start working this along where the brown and black meet and try to just blend that out. Now I'm going to take that first brush that we used on that lighter shade. I'm going to tap into that and I'm going to go over the top of this and try to blend out some areas that don't look as nice and try to get it to look more seamless. I'm also going to take, this is just a clean blending brush that again, I'm just going to run over everything and try to just smooth everything out and make it look diffused with no harsh lines. I am gonna put a shimmer shade on the inner part of the eye and the one I'm gonna use in this palette is right here. This is the shade Silk and I'm just gonna use my finger to apply some of this I'm gonna take one of my brushes now and try to just blend out the edges there. And then take my finger and just press that out a little bit more to try to diffuse it. There was some fallout from that glitter, but that's the nice thing about doing your eyes first is you can just go in with a makeup wipe and just wipe that away. I'm also gonna use this just to clean up the edges a little bit. All right, next we are going to move into the face and first I'm going to prime before we go in with foundation and the primer I'm gonna use is one of my favorites from the drugstore. This is from e.l.f., I'm sure you all know this one. This is the Poreless Putty Primer, just the original one, which I absolutely love. As you can tell, I've used quite a bit of this and I'm getting close to the end. So I just like to apply this in a couple areas where I feel like my pores are more visible, which is right here next to my nose. And then up here on my forehead. And as always with any primer that I use, I let it sit for about 30 seconds before I go in with any foundation. So the foundation I'm gonna to use today is this one from NARS. This is the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This one is in the shade Medium Zero. And I have really been enjoying this one because the coverage, first of all, is really nice for being a tinted moisturizer. And it does give me a glowy finish on my skin, which I really love in a foundation. And it does also have SPF in it, which is great as well. So I'm just gonna go in and dot this on the face. Then I'm gonna go in and blend that out with my favorite foundation brush. This one is from e.l.f., the Complexion Duo brush. And I use this every time for foundation because I find it gives great coverage. It blends out super easily and it's dual sided with the foundation and the concealer side. I like the coverage that this gives because it's not obviously a full coverage tinted moisturizer, but it does enough to just even out my skin tone and yet you can still see things poking through like moles and other things that might be imperfections, but it looks more skin-like, but it just has a really pretty finish to it. Next, I'm gonna go back into that concealer that we used at the beginning, the Dose of Colors, and I'm gonna use this to conceal the under eyes and also brighten some other areas. And I'm gonna go back into my original concealer brush that we used to prime the eyes at the beginning. And I'm gonna use that to blend this out.
Now I'm gonna go in and set that concealer with my powder, the number seven powder that we used to set the eyelids previously. I'm just gonna take this on my brush here and just press that into the under eye. I'm gonna go in and use my favorite contour stick at the moment and this one's from Trestique. This is the only one I've ever tried and it's what I've been using just until I can find something else that I really love. But I actually really do love this one. It blends out super easily. And I like the shade of it as well. And I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just gonna use that to blend this out. I'm also going to add some liquid blush and the one I'm going to use today is from Rare Beauty and this is their blush in the shade Joy and it's a really kind of fiery reddish orange shade. So I'm honestly just going to take one dot because it's really pigmented and then I'm going to use my finger just to tap and blend this out. As you can see it's very pigmented so you have to be careful. After I get that tapped out, I do like to go back in with my foundation brush and just kind of run it along the edges to blend it out more. Once we've got that down, I'm gonna go in and finish off the eyes before we do the brows and the rest of the face. So I'm gonna go back into the Natasha Denona palette and pick up the darker brown shade that we used, the Magma shade. And I'm gonna take it on my little pencil brush and just run this along the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip into the suntan shade up here that we used at the beginning. And I'm gonna use this to run along that shade and just kind of blend that out. I'm going to go in and apply an eyeliner to the waterline. The one I'm going to use today is from Essence. This is their long lasting eye pencil in the shade Hot Chocolate and I'm just going to use this on the waterline. I'm also gonna use this to go in and tight line as well. These pencils from Essence are super affordable and they're really pigmented and they are great. They come in so many different colors. Next, we're gonna go in and do mascara. And before I do that, again, like always, I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes. The mascara we're gonna be using today is this one from Maybelline. This is the Lash Sensational, just in the shade black. This one has made it into my favorites because of the lift and curl that it gives my lashes. And it also does give me volume, which obviously is what I'm looking for when I'm using mascara. Anytime I do my mascara, I always get mascara either underneath the lower lashes or on my eyeshadow, but don't panic because if you do, let it completely dry and then go in with a Q-tip and you can just smudge that right off.
Now for brows, today I'm gonna to use the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade Soft Brown. Again, I like the fine tip pencils for my brows, just so I can really get in there and draw in those little hairs that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna start by underlining. And I'm gonna go and fill them in. I'm gonna brush this out and then we'll go in and set them. To set those, I'm gonna use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is just a little mini guy that I got through an Ipsy bag, but I've been really loving this product. It does not feel sticky or crunchy in the brows and it does hold them in place all day. So I will probably go purchase the full size product on this because it's that good. Now we're gonna go in and finish off the face. So I'm gonna go in and warm up the face with some bronzer. I'm gonna use this one from Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Bronzer. Everybody knows about this bronzer because it's that good. I'm just gonna take it on my big fluffy brush. Start warming up the face. And then again, I like to take my foundation brush again and just pat out the edges just to blend them out. And then we're gonna go in with some blush. And for blush today, I'm gonna use this little bite size blush from e.l.f. This one is in the shade White Peach. And I love these ones, first of all, because they are super pigmented. Here's what it looks like. It comes with a blush and a highlight. These are so affordable. I think they're around $3 and you can get them at Target or Walmart. And they come in a bunch of different colors. So I'm gonna take some of this on my angled fluffy brush and apply to the apples of the cheeks. And then I always like to run a little bit on the nose. Then last thing for the face is I'm gonna go with highlighter. I'm gonna use this one from Wet n Wild. This is their Hello Halo blush lighter. And it's in the shade After Sex Glow. And here's what it looks like. It comes with a blush and a highlight. And I'm just gonna be using the highlight side. I'm gonna take some on my brush here and apply that to the high points of the cheeks. I really have hardly any of it on my brush. And I'm also gonna use it to highlight the inner corners of the eyes. And under the brows. And last but not least, we're gonna go in with some setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Obviously, I think most of you know this one as well. This one is such a good setting spray from the drugstore, and they also have their fruit fetish line that also comes in a lot of different scents, and they smell so good. But it really holds my makeup all day. And you really don't even need that much of it. And last but not least, let's go in and finish off the lips. I'm first gonna take a wipe and just wipe off any foundation that got on there. And for lip liner today, I'm gonna to use this one from NYX. This is the retractable lip liner in the shade Nude. The lipstick of choice today is from Maybelline. This is in the shade Nude Lust. I love Maybelline's lipsticks because they're really creamy. And I love the shades. And for gloss, another really affordable one that you can find at Ulta is from Essence. This is the Shine, Shine, Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss in just the shade clear. It smells really good. All 
right, here we are at the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know in the comments what some of your favorite products are. If you enjoy any of these ones that are some of my favorites, I would love to hear from you guys. And again, please subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications and I will see you in my next video. Bye.